Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 1.9. How are you guys doing today? Stop yelling at me. Gosh. <laughs> I'm doing really good. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I'm having a really good day. So if you guys don't understand that little verse, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I messed up. So yeah, last episode, if you missed it, we finished off the zombie spawner. We got that all done and dusted, and we're probably gonna get some really good use out of that today. So before we get into anything, I got a couple things I gotta talk about. Two things, of course, that you guys already know about. Number one being, thank you guys for sitting down with me today. I really do appreciate it. I know you don't have to, but I really do think that you are amazing for it because it's it's something that you can didn't have to do, but I'm really glad that you do it anyways. Number two, um, we'll talk about the like thing in just a second but number the, actually number two i i apologize for not having an episode out yesterday even though you guys have completely obliterated the past three episodes gotten 30 likes on every single one of them and you guys are blowing me away with every bit of support that you guys have been showing to all of these episodes so thank you guys for all that love i can't even believe it i was like i'm not gonna lie to you guys i, I whenever when i first I, i've said this probably before already i don't remember it's really late but uh I've said this before, probably, but uh, when I set that light goal, I personally, I, I, I had a feeling that we could do it, but I didn't realize we were going to successfully do it every single time, and I'm really, really excited that you guys are loving this series as much as I am, so thank you guys for all that love, thank you guys for sharing out the videos and doing all that fun stuff, because we're getting so many people to come through, we're, we're doing really well, and I'm, I want to say welcome to all the new people, so thank you for all that, um, and I, I do apologize for having an episode out yesterday, because... I kind of promised one and then didn't have it and then um and now it looked like a douche but um yeah things happened I, I have a couple things I'm going to talk about during today's episode because today is going to be a maintenance episode I have a feeling because things have changed if you guys haven't noticed already but yeah don't forget if this video is successfully get 30 likes I will make sure to have another video out tomorrow which I hey, wait a minute tomorrow Saturday holy crap I don't know if that's going to be possible because I actually tomorrow's a really weird day for me because it, it's going to be the first time in forever that I actually have to go into work early. Oh, I will do my best. And if I can't get it out on Saturday, I will make sure to have it out on Sunday, which is something that I never do. I've never uploaded on. Well, actually, I've only uploaded on Sunday once. So, yeah. So don't forget to give me that love on that like button. I'm really sorry. And don't yell at me in the comment section. So let's actually get into what we're going to be doing today. Uh, recap. Had a little bit of an incident. So, if you haven't noticed, we're missing a couple items. And I don't think it's around here. I don't know why I'm looking around, because I know nothing's around here. But, actually, there is something around here, but it's, it's the structure of ugliness. So, precursor to this episode. One of the reasons why I didn't have an episode out yesterday, because... Oh, shut up, cows. You guys are annoying. I still haven't figured out what the, chow, the whole cow cooker thing yet, and um, it's probably going to come in the future. You guys are... You guys are gonna have to get moved. That whole loudness thing. But um, a precursor to this episode, and I'm gonna I'm walking back towards the house because I need something from here because I just remembered it. But I actually had half an episode recorded, and then I scrapped the entire thing. And the reason that I did it was because I did something pretty dumb. Um, let me go ahead and grab emeralds because we're gonna be needing all this paper and some emeralds. Um. We're going to go play around with the villagers for a couple minutes. But um, I was messing around with the villagers on the last episode that you guys won't notice. And you guys probably see this ugly little building over here. Um, so I still hear that skeleton. It's around here. I need to find it because it annoys me every single time I go outside the house. But I want to introduce you guys to the village orphanage. <laughs> The completely abandoned village orphanage that wasn't taken down by the codes of uh, the the people's rights. I don't know. Uh, whoever looks over the uh, the terrible housing department. But yeah, I built this. So I was replicating what I, th I, I thought that basket had used on the Hypermind server. Now, I, I have absolutely done no research. I don't know how villagers work. All I know is that they need to have... They need to be... Cons they have to be willing to breed. And they have to have doors to breed and I replicated that so I built an area for them and then I put doors all around that and I, of course I could have brought this up and added more doors later um, and then what I ended up doing as well I don't know if this was actually needed but I put a villager underneath it uh, and that dude's got a couple if you guys can't hear it but that dude's got a couple uh, doors down there but um 
it wasn't working. So what I ended up doing was I took two of the villagers and I put them in here. And I had them in here for a while. And what I ended up happening was I stood right about here. And being the dunce that I was, I was like, okay, so these villagers must just take a little while to breathe. So I'm gonna leave them around. I'm just gonna tap out the game, go do some stuff. So I completely forgot about it. And I went off, I was starving. So I went out to grab some food before work. It was right around one o'clock and I was almost done. And I came back and I was dead. Apparently the, the villagers took the took the bait of the villagers and zombies came up and slaughtered me. Um, they slaughtered the villagers. Um, so yeah. Uh, they weren't they didn't so I'm, I'm guessing it's it's kind of like one of those rest in rest in pieces type deals Because I would imagine that the villagers would have gotten ripped apart slowly and then when they turned into villagers I mean they've turned into village zombies. They would most likely have burned alive inside the Sun. So yeah, that's a thing <laughs> So rest in pieces, but uh, luckily for us It wasn't uh, any important villagers because I do believe actually to be honest I think we lost our protection three villager um, because that was one of the ones that I grabbed, which is kind of unfortunate. But we still have our Mending Villager, which is the one we're going to be using in just a second. We still have our Silk Touch Villager, of course, um, which is that one right there. By the way, um, yeah, you, got, you guys can see I was messing around with trying to get some villagers going. Hold on, let me actually look at this guy. I completely... I, I never... Hey, what you are no you are noisy you want out so badly but I never really saw this when I was doing it early when I was uh, going around looking at the villagers but look silk touch for eight emeralds that's amazing hold on do you have anything cool you have power tool and you have some leather I might use that leather but I am looking for a villager that's 32 what about you? That's 27 for the lowest paper trade because I want to get some emeralds gathered up because I have got to get my items back because when I died, I didn't know and I tabbed back into the game and I remembered it was open and I was dead and all my items were all my items except for four items were gone. My sword, which was still here because the zombie, one of the zombies picked it up. Uh, my chest plate and then my pants and then my uh, my boots were still here because the zombie picked them up Which is kind of weird because the zombie that picked them up hadn't died yet So I'm guessing it was literally within five Well, it was literally within a few minutes of me actually tagging back into the game when the zombie killed me Which is really really unfortunate because I was so close to being able to save myself, but uh, I lost I, Luckily for me, I still had all of my other items. Like, I still had Spinny Worm and Yangerman Jensen inside the zombie spawner along with my Fortune 3 Iron Pickaxe. So we're still good on that front. We just lost our Fortune 3 Diamond Pickaxe and we lost our Silk Touch Iron Pickaxe along with our Shovel of Awesomeness that we didn't name. Um, I had a really cool name for it and we're, end up, we're gonna use it for um, one of our new ones. So let's actually look at you. What's your paper trade? 33 and this is 24. This is actually what I originally wanted to get these 24 emeralds for. Luckily, we already had 24 emeralds, which is really good. Um, so yeah, I can get a mending book and I plan on putting that on Spinny Worm and Yangerman Jensen. So let me go ahead and see what what kind of paper trade are we looking for for you? 34, nah, that's not good enough. Um, so 27 looks to be about the best, which was, I do believe, you? No. Which was my Silk Touch Villager, which is really good because I need to work around with him better so I can get, you know, you are noisy, noisy people. Um, you know, you could just, you, you could just move. No? Okay. I guess you got to explain to them in their own language to get them to like you. <laughs> Look at all these emeralds, baby. Oh, this is going to be good. Uh, <laughs> All them villagers, them villagers talking, man. So we've got Silk Touch, we've got books for emeralds. Is this any better? I don't think that it is. Hold on, so 27 is three. Wait a minute, let's go ahead and sleep because I don't want any zombies to come up around me. Even though I don't think anything can spawn in this radius, I still want to be 100% sure so I don't have anything coming up and sticking a, sticking me in the bum hole. So let's go ahead and pick that back up. Um, but yeah, 27, so that's three, that'd be nine. So it's basically the same trade, except I'm losing leather, okay. So we've got a compass, we've got bookshelves. We've got two written books for an emerald, which is actually better 
Then the original trade, all I have to do is make the books and then write in them, and then I could take that trade. I get glass. Okay, so let's actually, I want to see what's after the glass trade. Are you going to like me? Yes. What's after the glass trade? Whoa, hello. We got Death Strider. Okay, that's really good. Death Strider 1. I already have Death Strider 3 on my boots, but that's still good, so I'm going to be able to get a uh, good amount of Death Strider. I'm not going to use that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I need some leather. Hold on, let me go grab some leather. Okay, come over here, buddy. Let's go ahead and make this official. Let's get our first bending book on the world. Let's go, bam. Oh, don't you... Huh? Huh? Uh-uh. Oh, baby. Hello. There we go. So we got our first mending book on the server. So, well, on the on the world. It's not a server. Are you going to like me? There you go. What else you got on sale, buddy? You got books, compass, bookshelves. I don't really worry about any of that kind of stuff. So let's actually go ahead and get Silk Touch book over here because I should have enough ammo for that. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take both of these. Mm. Um, I'm gonna take both of these and then put them on Smitty Worm and Yangerman Jensen and then I'm gonna have a perfect silk touch pickaxe which is gonna be great and I'm hoping I don't lose this one <laughs> which would really really suck uh, actually I'm gonna grind out some more paper and I'm gonna meet you guys back over at the spawner today I also have to go take a mining trip because I, I wasted all my diamonds that I gotten from that previous diamond well that previous mining session on in Chanting random stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to get um, all of my items back. So yeah, give me a minute. I'll meet you guys in just a couple seconds. Stop slamming the door in my face. Seriously, buddy. I just wanna. I wanna get your emeralds, buddy. I wanna. Here you go. Oh, mm. <laughs> you gotta speak to them their own language. <laughs> oh, go oh god. Oh gosh. I was trying to document this, Mr. Slime, and you just come all up on me, just taking bites out of my health. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh goodness. We're gonna get so much slime. You guys, you guys question me and how I get all this slime. Look at this. It's so easy because of uh, the fact that this pedestal right here is a slime chunk. Uh, it's kind of awesome. I really still need to do something with that. Uh, that's still kind of a thing that needs to be worked on. I got so many things I gotta... Whoa, would you look at you? How you doing? <laughs> I never thought of that. That is a problem. I am definitely gonna have to slab the top of those, uh, those lamps. But, um, Mr. Creeper over there seems to be having some... Oh, God. Now he's gonna end up over here. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's something I've got to look forward to. <laughs> Remember, there's a creeper in there, so we cannot get too close to it. We're going to have to press the button and walk away. Okay, so... Oh, I never did the... Hold on. All right, guys. Welcome back. So we're over at the uh, we're over at the zombie spawner, so we can get ourselves uh, some good stuff. But yeah, slime balls. That's a thing. <laughs> so I got a mending book, and then I ended up getting two silk touch books. One for this pick, and then one just in case if I get a shovel without. Because I do believe I do. I only have one diamond left. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and grab some books. A good thing we still got books down here. Let's go ahead and make some paper, or some sticks. And we're going to make our only thing that we can make at this point, with this, which is a diamond shovel. So now we're out of diamonds once again. But we do, we do, we are still working on this armor right here. I don't want to use this stuff yet because I'm still derping around with the, the whole... Where did that creeper go? I still feel like the creeper is going to end up in there. I hope he does. We'll have to just wait and see, but uh, I don't want to wear that armor just yet because I have a feeling I'm going to end up dying and losing it like a derp that I am. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do Mending, Silk Touch, and then we'll see. Let's see. Smitty Wormy, Angerman Jensen, and then that. Wow. I could do it. Sweet. So we've got the ultimate pickaxe. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 5, Mending, and then Silk Touch on Smitty Wormy. Yangerman Jensen. So awesome, so great. So now that this pick can be repaired automatically using the zombie pressure, just in case of that, just in case if the creeper's in there, because I can't see it. And that is loud. Just in case, because I can't see it. Oh goodness. Where did it go? I have no idea. That's actually kind of worrisome because I don't know where that creeper went. I have absolutely no idea. 
And then that away, now all the, since I've got this in my offhand, by the way, I never showed this, but if you get that in the offhand, it'll automatically repair the, uh, whatever items in your offhand. So yeah, keep that in mind. So let me go ahead. I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is I am going to get back. I am actually, oh, I'm studying right now. I don't know why. I'm just really tired. I'm worried about that creeper is what's happening. So I'm going to get this back up to full HP. I'm going to get to level 30 so we can enchant a pick, well, our diamond shovel. And then hopefully we can get a good enchantment on that. So we can just use the silk touch book just in case if it doesn't have silk touch. You guys get the idea. I'm going to get some grinding going and then we're going to go and we're going to go do some mining and have some talkity talkity time together. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a little bitty bit. Oh, what's that? Oh, I see you. Aha, I see you. That is not a zombie's foot. I know better. Let's hope this kills you. I see you going to die, buddy. Oh, he's suffocating. I think he's going to die. He died. Oh, he did it. Oh, that's so good. That's actually really reassuring. <laughs> All I need is him to blow up his blow his <laughs> blow his load and completely just obliterate my spawner, which would be terrible. All right, guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and do this. I wanted to do this before we went mining. I've been just kind of chilling out for the past 30 minutes, just kind of, you know, letting the zombies spawn up, getting, killing them and doing stuff. I also edited this out. I put some slabs on top of the uh, redstone lamp so nothing could spawn on those and over the spawner. Now, I was having problems because the zombies were spawning on top of the spawner and they weren't falling off. So I'm hoping that slab prevents that and without losing any uh, spawn rates. I don't know how that's going to work out. So we'll have to see. So I went ahead, I already enchanted the, the shovel once and got this, which is really, really good. So I'm actually really excited about that. But one thing I want to go ahead and grab because I already have silk touch. I was looking through here. Apparently I'm going to get efficiency for this one. So let's go ahead and grab this. So now we're going to have efficiency and silk touch, which are the two things we're going to be needing. There we go. So if we go ahead and do shovel this, we'll have efficiency five, unbreaking three, and silk touch one. Off screen, I will go and grind out a mending book for this thing. So I'm just going to, going to go ahead and do the uh, naming ceremony. Now for you guys, so let's do, I am going to be using old man. I really want to make sure I get this. I, I really want to spell this right before I go ahead and hit this. So old man. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. I, I was pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to name it Old Man Jenkins. <laughs> if you guys get the reference, let me know in the comment section, but we're going to call it Old Man Jenkins. Jink. I, if I could type today, Old Man Jenkins. <laughs> there we go. So we got our new shovel. Super awesome. And then, of course, I'm going to get a mending book off screen, like I said. So let's go find ourselves a cave. Actually, I'm going to kill these off, and then we're going to go find ourselves a cave. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're down in the cave. I found it randomly. What I ended up doing was I walked a little bit away from our town and I dug all the way down and I, and I ran into this and it looks pretty promising. So while I'm down here, I wanted to talk about a couple different things. By the way, this is going to be the end. This is going to be the rest of the episode. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anything else done for today. We're already at 19 minutes or at least we're getting close to the end of the episode. So it is going to be, I'm, I have a feeling we're going to run a little bit long. So yeah, this is more meant towards all the super peeps who are still here at the end of the episodes. Cause I got a couple of important things I want to talk about. Number one, I want to talk about, of course, our channel scheduling that I officially announced and now, and since I announced it, I not even one have followed it <laughs> and by the way we need this iron i i just realized right before i came here because i needed a new bucket uh we are completely out of iron i had to literally use the piece of iron i had to use that iron block inside of our item frame to make this bucket so i had to replace it with a gold block but that, that's the thing i just thought of i just thought about uh bringing that up but um uh, talking about channel schedule, um, I've been focusing primarily on the single player just for the f simple fact that you guys are loving it as much as you are. Um, it's not that I, oh, I need to get rid of F3. Um, <laughs> so I don't have that on for the rest of the episode. That'd been terrible. But I've been focusing on this because you guys are, you guys have been blowing out the videos. You guys have been loving it. I have had so many new people come through. By the way, if you haven't noticed, but episode one has over 2,000 views, which is the most views I've ever had on a video. And and over a hundred likes which is again the most likes I've ever had in a video this this series so far has done uh, way beyond my expectation expectations and it's all thanks to you guys and the way that you guys have been sh uh, showing your support on these videos so a huge thank you to you guys I know I sound oh shoot you piece of garbage Whoa. <laughs> 
I was scared you were gonna get all killed. That scared the ever living crap out of me. <laughs> Mr. Goldpants over there jumping into the into the down to earth moments. Come on, buddy. What you doing? What you doing? Oh you got it stupid. Get in the lava now. Get in the lava. But yeah, like I was saying, it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much for all your love and support you guys have been showing on these videos. I really do appreciate it because um, the more likes that we get on the videos, I know I stress on the likes and stuff. It's not because I'm a like whore, but yeah, I mean, it is because I'm a like whore because I love me some likes. But um, it's more so because I know it helps the community out. So I, that's the only reason I ever ask for them. But um, I do want to say a huge thank you for you guys for that. And well, and again, like I said at the beginning of the video, welcome. Hello. Hello, buddy. Welcome to all the new people that are coming in. And I have been getting some questions. It's kind of, that's that's my segue. That was the worst segue because I brought it up. But that was my segue portion into the next topic I wanted to talk about. Because, why do I point out segues? Dang it. I've ruined all the good segues by pointing them out. But it kind of drags me into my next topic that I wanted to talk about. I've been having some people mention it in the comments section. People like No Juice and Andre and some other people have been uh, mentioning it. But um, I bet you I bet you there was more. I'm sorry if I didn't give you a shout. I'm sorry. But um, people have been mentioning about 1,000 subscribers and what we're going to be doing for 1,000 subscribers. Now, I don't know. <laughs> and I, I know they've been bringing it up, but I, I first, when I saw it, when I first saw it, I was like, we just hit 600. Well, I mean, it's going to be a while before we get to 1,000, but according to Social Blade, um, uh, if you guys want to, if you guys are interested in my Social Blade account, by the way, if you don't know what Social Blade is, it's basically a website that, that tracks YouTube pages and YouTube users' progress and, and you know, gives statistics on what they're doing. And a lot of that stuff is skewed, but a lot of that stuff is pretty accurate. So, um, I, if you guys are interested in, hello, I saw a creeper. Did I? No, it's just a bunch of zombies. But if you guys are interested in my social blade page, I'll link it in the down there along with my Twitter. By the way, quick plug in for my Twitter. Um, if you guys haven't already, I really recommend following me on Twitter. I released a tweet out yesterday about not having a video yesterday. So if you guys missed that and yelled at me and got really super angry, um, go follow me on Twitter so that you guys can stay updated on all the videos and stuff like that. I always post out whenever a video comes out. I always post out whenever I failed at making a video and stuff like that. If there's ever going to be any video list videos that are gonna be late I always post out about those so if you want to go follow me on Twitter but um like I was saying uh, if you guys are interested in the social blade page you can go look at that along with my Twitter and and actually my patreon is still down there but uh, that's a thing so anyways uh, according to according to social blade we're actually moving along quite <laughs> quite very well apparently over the past 30 days we've uh, uh, gained 200 new peeps in the in the subscriber count, so that's really amazing. Um, we're doing really well in the uh, whole like and view department, so thank you guys for that um, and stuff like that. So if you guys want to go check out the page, feel free to do that. But apparently, we're supposed to hit a thousand subscribers sometime in Jan June, um, or probably they they predicted it. Well, when they first predicted it, it was it's just been getting steadily closer to the date. So they clearly don't know when it's going to happen, but they. They seem to think it's happening it's gonna happen a lot sooner than they originally thought um, just because of the amount of growth that we've been showing throughout this well, the series in general so um, because of you guys so uh, we'll have to see I am thinking about what I want to do for a thousand subscribers I know I initially wanted to do another giveaways considering we just got done with one I don't want to do another one um, because we've been so close to each other I didn't I never I never expected 500 and a thousand to be so close together. That's the only reason that uh, I even mentioned it in the first place I bet you I, I'm guaranteeing our next giveaway will probably be or somewhere either five or ten thousand depending on which one If we ever get to that marker, I always I don't like I, I've always been raised to never count your chickens before you hatch because if you end up doing that things won't happen and then you get sad and frustrated, but who knows? Maybe one day we'll actually have ten. Our community will actually have ten thousand subscribers and people following the channel, which would be really amazing. And um, anyways, so for a thousand, I was. If you guys have any input on what you guys think we should do for a thousand subscribers, I was thinking about doing maybe a setup video, um, because apparent I haven't. I've never done one of those before, and I've been upgrading it quite a bit lately, just making it look better. Um, and if you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comment section. I want to know from the peeps who are still here because you guys are the ones who are. Are really uh, important to me and I want you guys to know what I'm rocking uh, by the way all I've been getting comments about this as well all of my hardware and software that I use to make videos are always gonna be in the about section of my channel page if you guys want to go check those out I'm not rocking anything super duper awesome it's just stuff that I use uh, 
um, it's just stuff that uh, gets me by basically. But it's just it's if you guys are interested in that, it's you can go check that out as well. I need this pick over here because I am out of coal. I'm out of coal and I'm out of torches. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, kind of going into channel scheduling uh, again. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna keep preferencing this series over the rest just because of the fact that you guys are loving it it's been growing quite steadily and i'm very very um i'm very interested to see where the series goes right now we are way above uh, if the old infamous series of infinity evolved if you guys know my infinity evolved series that was my previously best series that we've had on the channel this one is blowing that one into pieces so um i do want to keep this one going um as long as we can so but i do plan on integrating hypermind back into the schedule i haven't forgot about you guys if any of my hypermind peeps are watching me right now i love you guys to death don't worry i haven't forgotten about you and for those people who really want the hypermind uh to come back it's going to come back i'm going to try to work it into the schedule next week of course with scheduling and time restraints and stuff like that real life sucks it really does, but it's just a way of life. It's it's iron. How you doing, buddy? Um, but yeah, uh, other things that I wanted to talk about. Let me think. You know what? Let's actually talk a little bit more on the hypermind stuff. So, for those of you who are unfamiliar, we do have another series that was going on and still technically going on and not going away anytime soon. I am still t I am still a member of the hypermind server. If you guys are unfamiliar about the hypermind peeps. Uh, I'll be leaving a link to my playlist down in the description if you guys want to go check that out. Um, I make great videos for them, and I am loving the community that's around that. So I don't, so I don't want to, um, you know, stop videos for them because I absolutely love them and um, stuff like that. So, uh, anyways, if you guys are interested in that, you guys go check that out. But for the server itself and what I plan on doing, what my plans at least here recently, I have been playing on there mostly just grinding out, trying to get resources and stuff. Uh, I do, I, I want to finish the house over there, but after that, I'm probably going to be looking for a new base area, probably really close from, really close to spawn. I'll probably explain more of that in our next video. Is this cave really ending? Did I really explore all that this cave had to offer? I really need more diamonds. I ain't got a single lick of diamonds left, and that is a problem. That is a big, big problem. Oh, goodness, please tell me there's more down here. Ah, uh, dang it. Anyways, I guess that's the end of this cave, but I don't want to explain more. I'll probably explain more about the hypermind stuff in the next video and stuff like that. So I'm done plugging in links. So just check the links. Just check the description for all the information that I've been talking about. But uh, we are running stupid long. I don't want to hold you guys up any longer today. So I thank you guys for sitting down with me today. Thank you guys for all of your amazing support. I literally, I'm screwing up everything about this outro. So don't forget if you hated this video, you know where to put it. But if you did enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button, guys. I really had a lot of fun today. We got a lot of stuff that needed to be done. Look at this. Master pick, master, well, Almost Master Shovel. Old Man Jenkins is now part of the crew. And, of course, we still have just Mindy Worm and Yanger Man Jensen uh, riding along. We didn't get too many resources. I'll probably doing a lot more mining off screen. Maybe after I get done with this session, we'll come back and show you what I got. But um, uh, no promises on that. But, yeah, don't forget to post any questions, comments, or smart marks in the comment section down there. I love hearing from you guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day. I haven't really said this in a while, but if you are brand new, for some strange reason, you're still at the 30 minute mark almost, and you haven't subscribed yet. That button's really free. You can hit that button and it won't cost you a single dime. Really, it doesn't. It's really kind of hilarious. You just press it and you just get updated. It's really good. You get to hear more of me. You get more of me in your life. Yeah. <laughs>